far as I know, all the Challenger 1s got sold to Jordan, as well as any parts that come out also get offered to Jordan first. And there was only a few left in the UK. I think mainly it's Bobbins and Tank Museum that have got, I don't know whether there's two or three down there. Um, and, but this one was a gate guard at Shrivenham. So there was no pack in it, no APU in it, nothing in it. And I bought it off the army as a gate guard. They came into service in the early 80s, I suppose. They were used in the Gulf, first Gulf War. Um, the engines are CV-12, Rolls-Royce V-12, uh, gearbox are TN-37, supported by David Brown now. Um, the APU in this one is a three-cylinder, six-piston, supercharged Coventry Climax engine. Guns, 120mm rifle gun, and it's actually the same gun as what was in the last few Chieftains. Challenger was the first one that the British Army had to come out with Chobham armour, and that's why the shape of it changed from Chieftain because Chieftain was all curved and cast and Chobham was only made as flat plate so this has all ended up with flat surfaces rather than curved. So you've got a driver in the front, commander's in the cupola on the top and sort of in front of and below the um, commander is the gunner and then the loader's on the other side of the tank. CVRTs came out in the early 70s. Um, the first one was probably Scorpion. Uh, there was, in, of a basic CVRT, there was 10 different variants. The British Army only had nine of the variants. They never had Streaker, which was the load carrier, or Scorpion 90. Um, and they've now developed Scimitar 2, which is the one at the far end that's a lot taller. We've got two different CVRTs here. We've got a Scimitar and a Scorpion, and these are both done in the Golf 1 colours um, and they're still the originals in the Golf 1 had petrol engines so these have still got the 4.2 straight 6 Jaguar engine in whereas they convert them to diesel after the first Golf War. Scimitar's still in service with the British Army um, although they're all dieselized now some of them have been sold off but they've got diesel Scimitars in service and Scimitar 2s which are the new variant of Scimitar. So the first two we looked at were the petrol versions of the Scorpion and the Scimitar. This is still a Scimitar 1, but it's now a diesel version and it's got the armours and equipment on it that it ended up with in Afghanistan. So we've got perforated armour here and we've got bar armour and electric countermeasures devices that have been put onto it. So that's sort of as it finished its life with as much as it had on it sort of thing. They've upgraded the optics on them um, from Scimitar 1s to Scimitar 2s with different sights on them, yeah. Yeah, so the, the later version had it had it basically the, the original prototype was a scimitar turret put onto a Spartan hull to give more clearance inside, more height, and then with all the extra weights they've upgraded the torsion bars, the dampers, the final drives, gearboxes, fans and alternators, everything's been upgraded on this. And then they actually built new hulls and then stripped, stripped, sim, they stripped scimitars and Spartans down and put all the parts onto a new hull to create this vehicle now which is scimitar 2. That's part of the ECM equipment, electric, electronic countermeasures. Electronic countermeasures for IEDs, try and stop jam ID, IEDs.